In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Wise Bank account. Now, this is going to be a full step-by-step -step tutorial so that you can learn everything you need to know when setting up your Wise account. So, this video will show you how you can register for an account and also how you can set up your account once it is created. Now, to start with, you're going to have to go over to Wise and I'll actually include a link in the video description down below, which will take you to this page. Now, by clicking this link, you'll be able to sign up for an account. However, you will also be able to take advantage of this free debit card offer. You see, by signing up to this link, you'll actually get given a free debit card, and this allows you to spend in over 50 currencies at the real exchange rate. These debit cards usually cost about $10, so by signing up using this link, you'll be saving yourself a nice amount of money. So in order to create an account, you can simply just enter your email address in this section here, and then you can click order your free card. So from there, you'll reach this page where it says, what kind of account would you like to open today? And you'll have the choice between a personal account and a business account. As you can see here, a personal account allows you to spend, save and receive money from around the world, whereas a business account is to do business or freelance work on. So if you're trying to make just a personal account so that you can send your friends money or you can use it for day to day purchases, I recommend setting up a personal account. However, if you are going to be doing business transactions or you're going to be taking payments for your business, then you do want to set up a business account. But for this video, I'll just be showing you how to set up a personal account. So once you select that, you can then choose where you live most of the time. And you just want to answer honestly which country you're located in. So I'm from the United Kingdom, so I'm going to leave that set to that. And I'm just going to click continue. And from here, we will have to put in our phone number, which they will verify by sending us a code. So you just need to enter your phone number in here and then you can click send verification code. You'll then receive a six digit code to your phone number and you just want to enter it in this box and then click submit. And now that we've verified our phone number, we can now create a password. Now this password must contain a letter, a number and be a minimum of nine characters. So I'm just going to enter my password and then I'm going to click continue. So from here, we reach this page where we can just tell them a bit about ourselves. Now your country of residence and phone number should be automatically pre-filled because we've already submitted them that information. However, we will have to tell them our full legal first and middle name, our full legal last name, and also our date of birth. So you just want to put that information in here and then we can click continue. From here, we now have to enter our address and it does say that we may need to provide proof of this. So I'm just going to enter in my postcode and it should pop up with a list of addresses on your road. So now that we've set that up, it's going to ask us what we would like to do first. So it says we can send money or we can spend or receive money. However, there is an option down below that says take a look around first. So what we're actually going to do is click this bottom option, which says take a look around first. And we'll now be able to access our Wise bank account. So to start with, we'll be able to see our accounts. And as you can see, I've only got a GBP account set up because I told Wise that the country I'm living in is the United Kingdom. So if we wanted to open an account where we could use dollars, for example, we would have to open an American account. So we can see this open option here and we're just going to click on that. It does say here that we can open a balance or jar in 40 plus currencies. Now, a jar is more for setting aside money and saving it, whereas balance is to actually use. So you can send, receive and spend money using this. And I'm assuming most of you will want to set up a balance in a different currency. So we're going to choose balance and then we can choose between the currency. And there is 40 plus here, so there is tons of options. So this can be really useful if you're getting paid by friends or family that live in a different country. As you could choose the US dollar, for example, and that will mean that they could easily send you transfers to your US dollar account. And from there, you can easily convert it back into your local currency. Or you could even just transfer it straight to your bank account, and it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to click confirm on this. And we have now opened a USD balance in just a few seconds. Now we can go back and we can repeat this process for any currency of our choice. So we could just keep adding these if we wanted to, and we could have tons of different balances in different currencies. So now that we've got our account set up and we've got a few balances open, how do we go about getting money into this bank account? So the way to do that is to be on this homepage and you just want to look for these three options here, send, add money and request. And we can click this middle option, which is add money. From there, it tells us that we can add money and we have to choose how much we want to add. So you can choose between the currency here and it shows you your balances that you have. And it also shows you all those other currencies that it supports. But I'm just going to choose GBP. And let's just say I wanted to add £10. I could just put 10 there and we're now able to choose our payment method. So I'm just going to click this plus button here. And we now have four ways in which we can add money to our Wise account. We can either add money via a bank transfer, 
a debit card, a credit card, or a swift transfer. Now for a bank transfer, it doesn't have any fees and this will arrive in a few seconds. Debit and credit cards also take just a few seconds to arrive, but as you can see here, for a debit card, there's a 7p fee, and for a credit card, there's a 23p fee. But for a swift transfer, it says that your bank will charge you extra fees and your funds should arrive by Friday. So the swift transfer is going to be the longest option. I'd recommend a bank transfer if it is possible for you. However, if you can't do that, you're going to have to do either a debit or credit card as they will be the second and third easiest choices. But for this video, I'll just be showing you how to do it via a debit card. So once we select our payment method, it tells us all of these details about the transactions, including the fees, what currency we'll be paying in. So from here, we can click continue. And it says here that we have to switch to our smartphone. And this is so that we can verify our identity. So we can either scan a QR code with our phone or we can send a link by email. Now they do have an option down here where it says, I don't have a phone and you can do this on your desktop, but they say it is easier for them to verify it if you do it via your phone. So I'd recommend that you click scan a QR code and from there, it will show you a QR code on screen, which you can scan and you'll get taken to a wise website where you can then upload photos of your identity to actually verify your account. So when you do that and upload your identity, it will now ask you, what's your account for? So I'm just going to choose sending money to friends and family. However, you can choose whichever one you like. From there, we can click continue. It now asks us how much do we plan to move with WISE each year. And I'm just going to choose this option. So I'm now going to click continue. And we now get taken onto the payment tab. So here's how we can actually add money to our account. And since I chose to pay with debit card, we're now on this pay with card section. So I can simply add in my card number here, then my expiry date and the security code. From there, I can choose whether I want to save this card for future payments and we can then choose to pay the money in. Now, as long as the details you have entered are correct, you'll then receive that money in your WISE account after just a few seconds and you will have now successfully set up a WISE bank account. So once you have money in your account, you'll then be able to send payments and also receive payments into your balances. The final thing that I recommend you do is go to the top left corner and click card. And from there, you'll be able to order your own debit card. This will make spending a lot easier if you plan to use WISE for everyday transactions. So from here, you can choose between two types of debit cards. They offer a digital card, which you can keep stored on your phone, or you can get a physical card, which you can keep in your wallet. Now, a digital card can be useful for online purchases and things like that, as you'll have all the card details saved on your phone, and you can even add it to things like Apple Pay so that you can pay contactlessly. However, if you need a physical card so you can withdraw money from cash machines or do things like that, you will need a physical card so you will have to actually buy it. And in the UK, it costs about £7. But other than that, this has been my video showing you how to open a WISE account for any country. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please comment down below to say it helped you out. Thanks for watching.